Hi, welcome to my cooking channel. I would like to share with you some of the recipes I learned from my mother and some of the recipes I learned throughout these years. I tweak my recipes and make it unique. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in and welcome to my cooking channel. Thank you. Today we are making Sadhya Kalan. It's not limited to Onam Sadhya. You can make any day of the year. I tweaked my mom's recipe, but I don't want to say this is a traditional method, but my friends and family love this recipe. This recipe is for all the viewers and for Shali and Maya. They had been asking for a very long time for this recipe. I'm using the tubers called taro or chembo or army instead of plantains. In my experience, the plantains get hardened when you keep in the refrigerator in yogurt. If you use in the plantains, peel the skin off and cut lengthwise. And dice the plantains as a desired size. And keep in water to avoid the discoloration. You can follow the same chamber recipe for the plantains. Please check the description box for the ingredients. I am using chamber for today's recipe. Wash the cut vegetables well in the water. Adding two ingredients that gives a unique taste to this recipe. Please stay tuned and let's go. Now we cook the vegetables with the chopped onions. 2 teaspoons of grated ginger, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 chopped green chili, curry leaves in 1 cup of water. Make sure to add desired amount of salt. Cover and cook for 10 to 12 minutes or until it gets soft, stirring occasionally. We can make the coconut yogurt mix while it was cooking. I'm going to show you two different methods of coconut mix. One is with the fresh grated coconut and the other one is with the dry coconut powder. You can adjust the ingredients according to your needs. You blend the fresh shredded coconut with one green chili and one to two teaspoons of cumin seeds in quarter cup of water. You add the yogurt to the blended coconut mixer. Let's make the second method. I use and prefer the second method because there's no blending is involved. Crush 1 to 2 teaspoons of cumin seeds and add to the dry coconut powder. Now we can add 1 and a half cup of yogurt to the coconut mix. My family prefers pretty sour yogurt. Add a few tablespoons of water if the coconut mix is too thick. Now the vegetables are ready, soft but not mushy. Now we can reduce the heat and add the coconut yogurt mixer to the vegetables. And cook for 1 to 2 minutes in low heat. This is a time to taste. You can add salt if it's needed. I like a thicker consistency Colin, and I am adding half a cup more yogurt. Now we can turn out the stove and let's go to the last process. My mom's recipe, she never used a couple of the ingredients that I am using today. 
Heat the pan with the 1 tablespoon of cooking oil and add 2 teaspoons of mustard seeds. When the mustard seeds pop, you add fenugreek seeds and dry red chilies. Followed by chopped onions and grated garlic. You can avoid the garlic if you don't like the garlic taste. You have to almost brown the garlic and onions. I don't want to burn the spices. I'm turning off the stove now and adding turmeric powder and cashmere chili powder. Now I'm going to reveal my two secret ingredients. Adding a sephotida powder or cayenne powder and a pinch, make sure a pinch of a fenugreek powder will definitely give an amazing taste. You can add one teaspoon of sambar powder to the sauteed ingredients if you are bold enough and I had done it and it tasted so good. I am not adding any sambar powder today. The only issue with this dish that you wanted to eat more and more rice. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please try and enjoy. And I would like to get some comments from you. Please like, comment and share this recipe. This dish is paired with the rice, naan or roti. I see you soon with another great recipe. Have a pleasant day.